Hi everyone and welcome back to Aquatic Life Food. Today is very exciting because we are doing a video introduction on one of our two brand new kits for kids. Now this first kit is one of two and it's the Triops Eggs Kit. The second one is a Daphnia Egg Kit and we'll also be doing a video on that one so stay tuned. So today we'll be going over this exciting new kit and it will this in this video we'll be including the instructions uh, step by step as well as going through all of the components so you're familiar and you understand exactly how everything works so let's get started when you receive your kit this is what it will look like at the front and at the back you'll note that there's a QR code now this QR code links straight to our website where you'll find the ebook instructions on how to do everything in this kit, as well as some tips and tricks which will be available in the ebook. So firstly, you'll want to unbox. Okay, so once you've taken your kit out of the box, this is what you'll see. There are many components in this kit so let's go through each component and get familiar with it so obviously first we have the container this is where you'll be hatching your triops and it comes with a small hole in the top and i'll explain more about that later now let's just take everything out so that we can go through it bit by bit Okay, so the first component I'd like to introduce you to is the air stone with airline and it has a plug at the end. Now, this is important because it keeps the air oxygenated by allowing smaller air bubbles to form on the inside of the container. Okay, so that, keep that in mind because we'll be going through the instructions for that later. Secondly, we have the heater mat and that comes with a USB and plug and the heater, just to note, it is mainly included for the species of triops called T. australianus as they require a warmer temperature between 25 to 30 degrees, whereas the other three species of triops don't require this warmer temperature. So if you don't exactly want to use the heater and you'd rather leave it out, make sure to get these other species that need the lesser temperatures that will all be available on the website for you to have a look at. Um, however, if you have chosen the first one, um, T. australianus, then this will require a little bit warmer temperature and that is what this is for. However, the heater will be included regardless. So um, you can definitely use it regardless. Um, okay, so next we have the small net. This is included in both the Triops and Daphnia kits and it is simply to gather them uh, once they've been hatched or um, as I'll explain later, to rehydrate them. And next we have the thermometer sticker. Now this is included here on, already stuck on the container just to show you guys how it works and how you could possibly do it but it will be included in the container for you to stick on however you like, or you can choose not to include it at all. It's totally up to you. Um, next, we have some water conditioner. Now, this water conditioner is simply healthy bacteria that will be activated once it's added to your water. So bacteria is essential for the breakdown of waste and creates a healthy water environment for the triops. And that is what this is for. Next, we have the Indian almond leaves, and this is already crushed and ready to be added to your kit. This creates tannin in the water, which is a very healthy environment for the triops and lots of other species as well. So once you're familiar with everything, it's time to start putting everything together. Now, please note you'll also need bottled water. Uh, we don't recommend using tap water as there are chemicals in it. So just some plain um, spring water is fine. Now, firstly, 
To get started, you want to grab your container and your lid and you need to put this through the lid. So you want to detach the air stone or the plug, either way, like, like so. Put it through the lid. And then reattach it and that's really simple now a really great trick is that if you're having trouble pulling the airline off of the air stone you need to squeeze it push some air so that you can see air suctioning around the sides where it's stuck and then once that is done it will come off quite easily so if it's stuck, it feels sticky, it's just because there isn't enough air around this component. So make sure you use that squeeze tactic. And then obviously once it's through, you want to make sure that it is tight. So give it a pull, perfect. Okay, so that is our air stone set up in here. Okay. So this air stone is to create small bubbles at the bottom and it is the source of oxygen that comes through. Now this can simply be taken off and added to an air pump or if you'd like just take this out and it can simply be oxygen going naturally into your kit. Okay so once that's done you can take this off for the time being and you need to add bottled water to your kit about three quarters okay that's more than enough um and then next you want to add your leaves this is in no particular order but can just be a good way to do so okay once you've added your leaves now we have given pretty much double the amount of water conditioner you need for this container and that is because you can reuse it so you want to leave half so you just want to grab your water conditioner and pour half in like so if you need to use a measuring cup of course that's also a great way to do it you could use a turkey baster or a measuring cup and once you have added the leaves in also note that they will float that's completely normal they're dry and they will just hydrate over time which will help them to sink and flow into the water uh, very similarly to the triops so once that's done you just want to set up your heat mat now it has a usb and plug that comes with the kit um, and you want to just put that into a powerpoint so the heat mat will just sit underneath like so and the USB will plug into your plug you could use one that you have at home but it's it's perfect it's good to go so just like so you've got your leaves you've added the water conditioner and from there you have already set up your heat mat and then finally it's time to add our triops so the species that you order will be labeled and as you can see the triops are quite tiny they come in this tiny vial and you just want to pour them in like so tiny little eggs and from there um, it's important to know that you can you can stir them around um, 
you try not to be too harsh but at the same time you can you can just leave them because it's just natural the once they hit water they'll start to hydrate so you want to put the air stone in and if you have your pump now is a great time to add it to get some oxygen circulating otherwise you can leave it as is or even just pull out this plug is totally up to you what you do with that side so that is our triops kit all done and that's all you need to do to set it up now you might be wondering what this net is for so as i mentioned it is for uh, extracting the triops so this can be for when you want to move them into a bigger container if you don't have a sieve you can use this but another thing to note that is very important that is that triops eggs are dinosaur eggs and they have been around since the dinosaur ages so because of this they are sometimes harder to rehydrate and hatch so what do you do if your triops don't hatch after the first time around so for a time frame you're looking at 24 to 36 hours but if they don't hatch in this time frame it's been 36 hours you know maybe you've seen one hatch maybe none have hatched so what do you do next now this is what you do all you need to do is extract the triops from the water using this net and you can lay them onto baking paper or anything similar and they just need to dry it's okay if the leaves get caught up in this net they can just dry with the triops too so you need to leave them here for around on the baking paper for around three days and then simply add them back into the water to rehydrate so um, it's well known now that triops can take maybe two to three times to rehydrate sometimes they can rehydrate and hatch the very first time and that would be great if that's you lucky you otherwise um just keep going just maybe two to three times you'll need to extract put them on the baking paper let them dry and then rehydrate them and then eventually after two to three times of 24 to 36 hours being in the water they will hatch so that there is our triops egg kit for kids now this is very exciting we are we have been working on having a kids kit for a very long time and this is because it is just a great way for kids to learn about biology and science and we just can't wait for kids to try it at home um, if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below please review the description below for all the details and we will put the link to all the information you need including the ebook if you have bought this kit it will come with the ebook downloadable so um, don't worry about that and that should be everything you need to know please remember to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and please remember to subscribe if you're interested in more aquatic live food videos in the future um, please stay tuned for our Daphnia kids hatching kit and we really look forward to seeing your results uh, feel free to share with, with us on the social media feel free to email us with any questions and we wish you the best of luck with your dinosaur eggs. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Bye.